Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this logo. I've already been playing around with it. And she was just really questioning the text around here, but the entire logo needs to be, she's going to do it on a, she's going to etch it on a glass. So this thing is six inches. I'm going to make a duplicate of it as I always do, but I'm going to reduce this thing in size, make Corel a little bit easier. We're less than two inches, so I'm gonna set my nudge factor on two. Now we're gonna take this, and normally I do not convert stuff to a bitmap, but with this logo, we've got some colored letters that are kind of like shaded. So I'm gonna to go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, grayscale, and grayscale is gonna take out some of that. I'm gonna go ahead and make a duplicate. Then I'm gonna trace the bitmap. Outline trace clip art. Trace it pretty good, and I'm going to hit OK, and then nudge it over. I'm going to go to this one, go to Object, Group, and Ungroup it. And then I'm going to get red. I'm going to do the fish first. The fish has different colors. So I'm going to hit the different colors, and I would go ahead and click around all parts of the fish because there might be some like that didn't look like there was anything there. And we'll know in just a second whether we did it. Now, the good advantage of this, we only have to do one fish. That one traced pretty good, so we're going to use that one. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this stuff. That's a good one. So now we're going to take the Smart Fill tool, set on blue, and I'm going to fill that in. And that kind of proves we got rid of all the stuff. I'm going to go ahead and move all three of these over and the eyeball over. Now, one of the, and in the original logo, um, these things are all kind of equal. The fins or the gills, I guess. So this is our best one. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this one yellow. Turn this one yellow. And then I'm going to hit this one. I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it on top of the one. So now I can get rid of the yellow because it's almost dead on top. Hit the plus key on the keyboard. And it almost snaps to it. Click off of it and then hit de delete the yellow. Now we need to work on the fish itself. It's a lot easier for me to do it while it's in a hairline mode. I'm gonna grab my smoothing tool that's about the right size. Click on it and just start moving around. And if you don't, if you see something not ever, you know what, I want to make it a little bit bigger, point two. If you see stuff not happening, it's because you haven't selected it. You need to be able to see the nodes. And I, you could do a probably a little bit more work to this, but that looks pretty good. So now we're going to take and take that and make it black, make everything black. I'm going to go ahead and select it all and right-click the mouse to a no outline. I'm going to control G to group it. And then I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then I need to find out how big this is. So I'm going to kind of start in hopefully the center, hold down the shift and the control button and get that size of that ellipse and hit P. Even though we're real small, we're still got to be in proportion. I'm going to set my nudge factor on like 0 0.1, 0, 1, and I'm going to nudge my fish up about where I think he needs to be. <clears throat> then I'm going to, let me zoom in here. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Click on that X and put the rotation in the center and rotate it 180 degrees. And at that time, you'll be able to see if your fish are pretty close to the original. I'm going to go ahead and group this together for a second so we can move it up here. Now, at this time, we could make it, you know, well, we need to add the other ring first. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back. And let's find out what this other ring is. Luckily, this logo was pretty 
centerable. Well, there we go. So I'm just going to take that one right there, get the ellipse. Because all I really want, hold down the control and the shift key and get that outer one. Now we're a little bit off, but I'm going to hit P. And now these guys are together and about where they need to be. Now I'm going to control G to group it, and I'm going to make it six inches, which is what I think the regular logo was when it came in. <clears throat> so I'm going to break this into two-part video, and we're going to do the line thickness and the text to path. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.